Hello, welcome back everyone. So this video is part of a collaboration with Mini Scenes GB and Crafty YouTubers United. The theme is fall. So let's see what we can do. So I'm going to do this little mold and I'm going to use some interference colors. To reflect that maybe in the gold so maybe I'll use some of these yeah all right I think I'll start off with this one here which is gosh I can't see gold green it's a chameleon powder gold green and I bought these little ones in Temu So I will be brushing it on and fast forwarding. done so it was not an easy thing because in some places you refuse to get stuck onto the mold. I will put my gloves on and I suggest you do this with a respirator because this stuff was going everywhere. I will put my gloves and make some art resin. So I have mixed some black resin and I'm hoping I have enough because I have no idea how much to use for this mold because it is the first time that I am using it. And all I did really is get some art resin and add some black to it. all being black. I had to put about 15 drops for this and that's about it. And now let's hope that it's enough to cover it. I have made a mess like always. What else is new? I'm such a messy artist. I just can't do it unless I make a mess, guys. That's the other artist. They're so careful. Everything is so neat. I don't know how they do it. Honestly, I just can't do it. I miss messy. Okay. So now we will have to wait for it to set, of course. I'm going to take some bubbles off it. Remembering not to over torch because you will burn your mold. And that is it for now. Okay. I want to do a little coaster to match with the candle holder. And this is an experiment because these leaves are made of material. So we'll see what we do to do it. There's many ways you could paint the leaves. You could use uh, gold spray paint. You could use acrylic paints, but they take longer to dry. And using the method that I did, it's quick. I'm going to have to do a bit of resin on the bottom 
to see whether they will stick. And I want to do the edges in gold because I want to do something to match with my candle holder. Make it into the golds and copper and something like that. And I'll clean the middle where I don't want that because it's gone everywhere. I don't know whether you guys will be able to see it, but it's gone everywhere. And I don't want it absolutely everywhere. All right, I think that that will do. Now, what will we do with that? I'm going to use this copper powder which I bought from Harry and Wilma. I have put that silicone mat underneath because this powder is very messy. And before putting the powder on, I have sprayed the leaves with glue spray. That way, the copper will stick to it. And then you have to let it dry, of course. Right? Let it dry. But do the same with all of them. And you don't have to do it this way. You could spray it with paint. You could use acrylic paints and paint them. But this way it's quick. You spray it wait one minute and then you brush it on and in three minutes it's dry and it's nothing fancy i'll show you in a minute the spray gold that i've used because of course the glue has to dry up before you can actually use it this is what I've used okay I think it's dry now I've shaked them upside down so let's keep our fingers crossed I've got some platinum art resin and I'm only gonna put a little bit in the bottom because what I want, I want the leaves to sit on top of it. So really, I don't even want to um, do the whole bottom as long as I have just a thin coat on the bottom. Because I want the leaves to sit on top of it. And it is an experiment, so I'm hoping it works. If it works, <laughs> I will show it. If it doesn't work, it will be to the chuck part. And if you have other ideas, please let me know in the comments. I would really appreciate it. If you think that I could have used something else, well, let me know. lots of bubbles because it's very cold in here it's very very windy if i don't get blown off with the wind so moment of truth 
Will it sit? Will the powder stay on the leaf? That's the big question. And I'm going to leave it like that. I'm not going to do too much more to it. Maybe another leaf in here. And the last one I will put in here. Like so. And I'll come back and poke it a little bit more when the resin is a little bit more set. Okay? So, let's keep our fingers crossed. Hello, so I'm back. So it's all dry. I have no idea what it will look like in the other side because that's the side that really should look okay. So, <laughs> I don't know. I mean, we can always do a top coat on it. Sorry about the light, but like always, it's pouring in here. I had to switch the light on because it's quite dark. So I'm going to do some interference powder on it. And I don't like this little brush. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get a brush. This one is a little bit big, but never mind. That's better. It's just that the other one, you can see the marks as you brush, and we don't want that. And once I've done that, what I will be doing is, I'll do some black resin and pour some black resin on it. And this is green interference powder from Temu. I'm just making sure that I, you know, in case there are bits that you can see through in the other side. So it's always good to put it in here as well, just in case. Okay, I think that that's it. Let's have a look whether it's done it. I've mixed my black resin. I'm not too sure that I'll have enough here, but I have no idea how much I'll fit. It's a small mold. And to the black, I've added some diamonds from Paper Mill. So that's my black. And let's see whether I've made enough. Doesn't have to be right to the top. I think I might just leave it as it is. Doesn't have to be right to the top. And I might have to do um, top coat anyway. So I don't want it to be very, very thick. All right, so I'm going to leave it at that. I will torch it a little bit for the bubbles. I think my torch is reaching the end of its life. It takes a little while to shut down. So I will be back when it's set. So bye for now, guys. So let's have a look and see.
whether we manage to do something with it. So I didn't like the way that it didn't show the veins in it. So I've got some gold ink and I'm going to do the veins myself, which are easy to do. Let it dry and then do a coat of resin over the top. Just to make them look more realistic. And of course, when you're using this technique of using leaves that are material, you don't get the shine that you would if they were plastic. Um, so I'm afraid but in the other hand, it gives it a more realistic look because leaves are not meant to be shiny, are they? So if you make the lines too visible, it's not going to look that way. So all I've done is make the veins in the leaves come out a bit more because obviously you couldn't see them but i think that this method makes it look more like realistic leaves that have dried up and are just sitting in there and i'm quite happy with that okay so i will do a top coat on it once that is dry with um, and I probably will use UV resin rather than put a coat of resin over it okay so it is dry now I am going to do a top coat with UV resin on it Try not to put too much all at once because you need to spread it so that it doesn't overflow. And of course this is a bit harder to do with this because it's not round. You have to make sure that it's all the way to the edges. Just add a little more. Just see as you go how much you need. Making sure that it's right on the edges. Or against the light to have a look that it is okay everywhere. Just as you would if you were doing a top coat with, with ordinary resin. It's virtually the same process except that you're using UV resin, it's, it's weaker. That's the only difference. Now, I'm putting my lamp on and I'm putting it for 90 seconds. So hopefully that'll be enough. The 
place is a little bit dull today because unfortunately we have terrible weather today here. It's pouring, it's very dark and dull and very windy. I'm going to do another 60 seconds because I want to make sure that it's completely set. Okay, so this is it guys. I hope that it is completely set. And look how pretty that is. And to me that looks very realistic. It looks like real leaves. So let's have a look at how this one came out. Let's hope it looks pretty. Oh, look at that. And now you can just, can you see how that little excess came off really easily? Yes, I rather like that. Look at that. And now all you do is you put your little candle. It can be, it can be one of these. And there you go. Look how beautiful that is and very much in tune with autumn and the autumn colors. So make sure you to watch all the other beautiful artists, very talented artists. I will have the link in the description and thank you very much for watching and bye for now.